Hey everybody, it's Tom and T from Show Me Coasters, and tonight we're at Six Flags St. Louis for Friday Night Rides. That's a new festival they're doing between the end of summer and Halloween Fest. So we're going to go inside and catch the park all lit up and looking beautiful, and we'll see you on the inside. So we just walked up and uh, we noticed that it looks like they're getting the park ready for the fall season and Halloween. So I'm looking forward to see what it looks like on the inside once we get through the front gate. We'll see you on the inside. Yeah, yeah. You can definitely feel the changing of the seasons here. It's actually like um, in a couple weeks you can definitely feel the bite of the weather. It's a little bit cooler tonight. I mean, I don't know what the temperature is, probably in the 60s. But it's pleasant. Normally, I struggle with wearing masks and hot and sweating in the summertime. But we're in the World's Fair section here by First Cones, one of the popular uh, hangout or uh, eating options are here at Six Flags St. Louis. Uh, they're really getting ready for Halloween here, guys. So you can see some of the decorations are up. Uh, our Halloween season don't actually start to. Uh, October 2nd, but it's everything's up already. I don't know, they're gonna uh, obviously a uh, love at first fight will, will probably will not be uh, happening this year. That's indoor activity, but a lot of from what I heard, a lot of the the musicals could be outside this year. The uh, camera don't show it, but I could see <laughs> there's more Halloween decoration underneath this bridge heading into the DC Plaza here. Is that the clown area? They do the clown. Yeah. It used to be over there by uh, Excalibur. Yeah. Looks like they moved the, the clown area over here this year. So they've already got Thunder River drained for the season. With the wood? So I'm getting a ride uh, Mr. Freeze first time this year here at Six Flags St. Louis. I can't believe you didn't ride this earlier. This I don't year. think I rode what, uh, this, this Maybe year. Not, uh, huh? but, yeah, I would remember it, but yeah. it's nice to have a night ride. She's getting ready for his first ride on Mr. Freeze for the season. I can't believe that the case. <laughs> So we just got out of uh, Mr. Freeze here, and we're going to head over towards the Britannia section, like T said. Now, one of the things to notice, like, this is a new decoration. This is usually one of the haunted houses uh, during for the regular uh, Fright Fest. And this year, it's the Spider Tunnel. Yeah. That's kind of creepy. Uh, and what was it, though? The Black Owl or something? Or what was it? No. Uh, yeah. Normally, this is blocked out. Yeah, usually this is an actual haunted attraction out there. Yeah. But it's nice. You can definitely see the, you know. Makes the, it bright. The decorations really start popping. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, the night time here.
Team's getting ready for his first ride of the season? Yeah. On this one too? On his first ride of the season for Pandemonium. That's what I was saying. There it goes. So how was it? Oh man, <laughs> I had no counterweight, no, uh, nobody was sitting across me and I just spun real Should fast. Like you can see, I was still spinning even though I come out of the state. Yeah. It felt a little queasy, but it's, I love these um, Gerslauer spinning coasters. I know a lot of people say it's a kid's ride, but sometimes... It's, it's a fun ride. It's, it's a, a fun, fun ride. family ride. Yeah, you know? it's a fun ride. So uh, we're going to head down to our Supergirl and the boss and yeah. just chill and just have fun. I don't know why it's probably not open today. I didn't see that drop tower open, but I, yeah. I don't know. The Illinois section is They may have that closed off. But Supergirl's running. <laughs> yeah, I saw Supergirl running. Earlier, I might so. take a little breather from that pandemonium here a little bit. Yeah. Not done yet. So, of course, this is our grand old carousel. Now, this is actually the Philadelphia Toboggan Company number 15. 35. Number 35, and it was built in 1915. That's yeah. what it is. I always get the numbers mixed up. But so in this little uh, game shack here, they have one of the restored horses for the Grand Old Carousel, and it looks phenomenal. I don't know if you can see that very well. But that is absolutely beautiful, and if the rest of the ride turns out like that, that is going to be absolutely amazing whenever it's done. No, I don't think it ever lit up. So I have to pet a modem. I don't know, this it might be a mistake, but uh, I always like these uh, Endeavor. They're very open. I like, that's the difference between the oh. Enterprise. I think I, I like this better, but you like the Enterprise I miss better. I miss Highland Fling more, yeah. So, okay. so T's getting ready to ride Supergirl Skyflyer here at Six Wide St. Louis. Please make sure your mask is on at all times while you enjoy Supergirl Skyflyer. So full of police stop by while not your restraints. At that time, you may pull down, push up on your restraints, follow the all signs of the exit, and enjoy the rest of your night here at Six Flags. For those of you waiting to board. So I just got Supergirl here, the Endeavor, uh, Semperl Endeavor. I do like this model much better. I, I rode Zulu in Worlds of Fun. For some reason, the openness here doesn't make me sick, but I, uh, Zulu in Worlds of Fun, the capsule, maybe I'm claustrophobic. Ooh. That one make, makes me want to throw up. That one made me nauseous no, too. But this one, I, I do like it. It's a newer model and I like it. It's just very open. The Schwarzkopf that we had before, the Highland Fling, it did not make me nauseous. Yeah, well, I miss these night rides. We haven't seen this all summer. But uh, one of the things about well, the boss actually has a great night ride and a lot of the public don't know that. Especially out the uh, uh, open wood here. The, oh, this is a phenomenal. Uh huh. I love the night ride here at the boss. Folks, as you see this, this is the longest line I've ever seen all season. Yeah. Yeah. Well, people take advantage of these uh, night rides. <laughs> I haven't seen this all summer. So I'm getting ready to ride the boss here at Six Flags St. Louis, the CCI terrain coaster. It goes out into the woods and back. Now this has a phenomenal night ride, and I'm really looking forward to this. I'm just afraid it's going to hurt my back a lot. By the first time night ride of the season. Yeah, my first night ride of the season. Everybody, I'll see you when I break it back. Tom's getting ready to ride his first night ride on the boss here at Six Flags St. Louis. 
just a favor, everybody, ladies and gentlemen. What goes up? Let's come right back down into it. Your 150 foot jump on the boss. So how's the ride? Woo! You know what? It was really rough, but it's still such an intense, fun ride. It's just going through the woods in the dark is just absolutely one of the best rides I've ever had on this one. Is it better than uh, the Beast at night? Oh yeah, way better than the Beast, I think. Oh, yeah, you think so? Is that the light? So T and I just got on Colossus here at Six Flags. St. Louis. <laughs> see what the park looked like at night. Yeah, it'd be kind of cool to see the park at night from the top. I remember this opening in uh, 1986. It was like <laughs> it was really popular, but now yeah. you can't get anyone to ride. We're the only one riding this right now. Yeah, I think there's like. So we just got off of the Colossus. You know, it's a really great way to uh, like relax, have a little bit of a break here at the park. And you get to see some really awesome views up there, especially at night when the park's all lit up. It looks really phenomenal, I think. It's beginning to get cold. <laughs> yeah, it's getting a little chilly, home. yeah. I didn't bring a jacket. <laughs> but it's not even fall and I'm feeling cold already. Yeah. And I got insulation. <laughs> so I'm getting right uh, it's been sanity here at Six Flags St. Louis. This will probably be our last night, uh, ride for the night. Um, it was just a quick visit to see what the park looked like, you know. I missed the night ride that's not available to us during this, the summer. But it is a great, beautiful night to visit the park here. Yeah, it's been a really fun night. So, you know, Steve's getting ready for his ride on Spin Sanity. Oh, I just got off a uh, spin sanity here, but uh, this is the deluxe model, uh, bigger than a electro spin, like uh, uh, Silver Dollar City in Branson. But it's always a great uh, addition. I remember this was added 2017. People were like, "Man, they wanted to." Right, coaster. they were really mad. Yeah, they wanted to coaster. But. Yeah. So, but uh, it's a, a great ride. You know. It's, it's a good family ride. Yeah, it's a fun ride. Yeah, yeah. Right up the area here. That yeah, it really did. It really needed. added to this section. That's going to do it for tonight from Six Flags St. Louis for their Friday night rides. Thank event. you uh, for joining us, to taking a sneak peek of, a, of the coming Halloween season here uh, in a few weeks. So, but it looks like the park is gearing up for a great Halloween season. Yeah, they won't have the haunted house attractions, but it looks like they're uh, working their way around it. Yeah, it they're going good. to have all open scare zones. So. Yeah. It's going to be really fun. I'm looking forward to that one too. So This is T. This is Tom. Have a great night. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And we'll see you next time either from Kings Island or Silver Dollar City. Have a great night. Thank you. Team members to do the six. That's six easy steps to ensure your health and safety. Number one, wear your mask to protect yourself and others. 